Ready to see it? <laughs> oh, man. Can you tell me what led to this photo? Okay, so <clears throat> I got high and found the costume. I put it on. Before I realized it, I'm in jail wondering what happened. So I remember getting the infamous picture from a friend of mine. And when I saw uh, this picture of my friend from 20 years ago, David Hobbs, um, I, I, I told my friend who, who sent this to me if he could reach out to somebody in his family and to let them know that there's a program, that I had a program in Atlanta, and I wanted him to, to come here. You know, my mom's crying every night when I call her. You know, people bash me on Facebook and this and that. I get opportunity to come to Good Landing here in Georgia. I take it, I come here, and, you know, it was like from the house manager to the community to all the staff and counselors here, everybody's been great. And um, shortly thereafter, uh, David agreed to come and he showed up and walked through the doors of, of Good Landing and walked into a group that I happened to be teaching on overcoming shame. And I didn't know what to expect, um, but what I saw when he walked into that group room was a man who was full of purpose, a man who was serious about his recovery and was interested in walking out of the grips of active addiction. You know, I've been in addiction for 18 years and I've been clean now for eight months. I graduated the program, now I'm on staff here and that's my way of giving back and I'm a completely different person today than I was. And that's what I've seen over the, the last eight months. It's been a remarkable journey. He's now on staff at Good Landing Recovery as a house manager and one who was formerly in the bondage, in the chains of active addiction is now showing others the way out.